I'm Jerry Corcoran. I live in Toronto, Canada. In 2008, I was diagnosed with osteoporosis. My doctor thought it would be a good idea to send me for tests because my mother had had a, a fracture and he was concerned that this sort of thing ran in the family. So he was right. Now, he put me on medication and he told me to increase my vitamin intake and my calcium intake. So. I did that for several years. A few years ago, I went for a routine physical and the doctor told me that my vitamin D levels were low. As a result, my medication wasn't being absorbed properly. So he told me to increase my vitamin D levels. I went up to 4,000 international units. After about a month of that, the doctor called me into his office and he told me that I no longer had osteoporosis, but osteopenia. Now that's a positive development really to have osteopenia rather than osteoporosis. I'm not worried about osteoporosis or osteopenia. Some people are, but I know there are risks of fractures, so I'm conscious of that. I don't think that having osteoporosis has changed my life all that much. I am conscious that I need to exercise and I need to take long walks because weight-bearing exercise is very helpful, very beneficial for people with osteoporosis. Now, when I go to the osteoporosis office, I walk there. It's about uh, an hour and a half walk, almost four miles. It gives me a bit of a cardio workout, gives me some weight-bearing exercise, and saves me a transit token. So, it hasn't changed my life all that much. That's what I find. I know that some people are frightened of it, some people are scared that they may have a, a fracture. A few weeks ago I was on my way to the office and uh, the sidewalk was kind of uneven so I tripped. I fell flat on my face, cut myself a bit, and I thought, oh no, I've done it this time. I've got given myself a fracture, but I dusted myself off. I was fine. I'm conscious of what I eat now. I'm conscious of foods that are rich in calcium or vitamin D. In the old days I used to throw out that little column of bones in a can of salmon. Now I grind it up into the, into the salmon. I, I know I should eat more leafy vegetables, I should eat more broccoli and kale. I like broccoli but I'm not that fond of kale. I retired in May of 2010 and I thought I would call the osteoporosis, osteoporosis in Canada and offer to do some volunteer work for them. So they accepted me. Tanya Long was the national education manager. She encouraged me to come in and have an interview with her. And I do a little bit of volunteer work, such as answering the phones, speaking to people, uh, counseling them. I'll send out information packages. Sometimes I work on processing the receipts that come in from the various donations people make. I find that Help, it actually helps people when they call in to talk to somebody who has osteoporosis or has experience with osteoporosis. It makes them feel a lot better and it, it makes me feel better too that I'm doing something worthwhile, something that can help, even, even in just a very small way. People shouldn't think that because they've got this condition it's the end of the world. You can take medication, you can take vitamins, you can do exercises, follow your doctor's advice and don't worry too much about it. That's one thing I can recommend to people.